Ladies, gentlemen, everyone in this arena and at home, I know, especially those of you in the arena, you wanted to see the hometown favorites win, but can we please give respect where it's due? Give it up for Glaive and Astralis! <laughs> Glaive, I'm sure it's hard to process the whole of Overpass right now, but that was such an intense map of Counter-Strike. You guys got off to a flying start, 12 to 3, but we ended up seeing two overtimes. What happened? Yeah, we're having a tough time on the T side of Overpass right now, and I think a lot of teams have that problem. Like when the CT is starting to build economy and stuff, it can be really tough. So you need to win the pistol round and, and the second round, and um, yeah, else it's going to be really tough. So uh, yeah, the, I think it's just tough. tough and um, I mean, we also just got a new player and failed some tactics and stuff like that, so that's what happens. Glaive, going back to the first two maps, so you lose your map pick of Mirage, you win their map pick of Ancient. Why was it Opposites Day? Yeah, that's tough to say. I mean, we had a really bad Ancient last time, uh, but this time around we had a much better one. So it felt good to show that we can actually play the map. Um, our own map pick, uh, Mirage, I actually think we played pretty solid. We just lost a lot of duels and they, I think it was mostly individual that lost us that game because we could have gotten uh, more T rounds, I believe. Uh, I felt like me, myself at least, had some uh, crucial moments where I could get the opening kill and maybe win us the round. So um, that was happens. Glaive, you mentioned your newest player. You have kind of two quite new players. We've got Mistu, sorry, Mister and uh, Christu. I want to make sure I get those pronunciations correct. Newer, younger. Are you proud of how they showed grit and determination across such an intense series of Counter Strike? Yeah, I think they played really good. They are both uh, great persons, great players, and they, um, I'm looking forward to see both of them in the future and see where, how they're going to, go, going to play. I think they're doing a good job getting into the team, and uh, yeah, I'm happy for them. Now, Glaive, you move on to our semi-finals, and who's waiting there for you in Astralis? It's Fnatic. Tell me your thoughts going into that semi-final. I mean, last time against Fnatic was really tough. Uh, we had our Danish uh, guy, Roy, just uh, owning us, so hopefully that won't happen again. Um, I mean... It's going to be fun to see what maps we are going to play, and uh, let's take it from there. All right, well, Glaive, with that being said, would you like to say anything to the Astralis and Glaive fans at home and all of our wonderful audience in the arena? I'm not sure you heard, but you did have sort of a pocket of Astralis fans, so please, anything you'd like to say, say it now. Yeah, I mean, thank you all you guys for cheering. I hope you were happy for the Counter-Strike that was played. Uh, you, uh, I, was, I was happy that you were cheering for ENS as well because uh, they are the home team and uh, it could have gone both ways, but uh, hopefully now we are pretty close to Finland, so uh, you can cheer for us now. Glaive, thank you so much. Congratulations on reaching the semifinals here at the Elisa Masters ESPU. One final time, everybody in here tonight, give it up for Astralis!